Yeah, I think that uh, most uh, Beastmasters right now in almost any lane are deciding to go for the Axis, XXS, top lane should be fine. Has full assumption to work with. There's like a... Might get the kill here, the salve and the charge, he's dead. Tian Ming is first blood. But That's, I, I want to see his strengths yet again here. Smail, mid lane, this is what I wanted, that's why I rotates in, but maybe it's not what I wanted. Oh, nice oh, shackle! Beautiful shackle shot from Somnus, connects onto two heroes, and they will still end up losing FY's Coddle. Okay. But to support him. Nyx, maybe they'll go on him instead. Let's see. Well, Shield he doesn't rule. have Spike Carapus. Shield Rune was picked up, so this might take a while for them to try and get any kind of revenge onto Sumail. He didn't... It's ridiculous how tanky this hero is with the oh. current build. Dude, look at bottom. Luja showed up. Now, very often, we would have these Terror Blades really want to make the first move to help the team push, but not anything that they can do. And they're still thinking about it, though. They go on to him with the Solar Bind, bringing him back Roar. with the Blinding Light. Primal Roll will be there as well. They overlay the stun a little bit with the Shackle Shot, so Poboka will still be allowed to live. Chalice, though, might not be as lucky as he's in between several Visage Familiars, as well as the Storm and the Silencer. He's still alive for now, though. That didn't get caught with the Illuminate. Will eventually die to Solar Assumption. At the same time, though, it does cost the life of Spirit Breaker and the Silencer. Somnus with the double damage rule doing quite a bit of work, and now Lu has shown up. Shackle Shot will connect. It hits onto XXX, and they certainly should be able to find this kill. The familiar drops will be there. They buy some time, but unfortunately, Tianming also there with the body blocks and the impale. Since there, the question is, do they have the damage? Vendetta hit is there, but the impale misses. Oh, well. Uh, we used to see that all the time back in the day when this hero was picked more often. The difference between Nyx Assassins that would decide to play with the Vendetta hit directly or would just forget about it and go Impale. Here comes a big zip in from the Storm Spirit, but Sumail runs out of mana halfway through. They have to pop the Global to ensure they can escape here as Chalice was looking for an angle for the Primal Roll. Beautiful familiar drops from XXX, but they might still end up dead. Rod of Atos now revealed in this fight goes onto our Visage. Shackle Shot will be on top of him. I'll save you, Mr. King. Jumps in, Visage, stuns, dies in the end, global as well used, like you said. Silencer now will be caught too. Uh, no, actually, they missed the, Im the Illuminate and the missed Power Shot. Dude, he's still alive. He's not dead just what yet. The they got double. Dude, no way. No way. Okay. He does finally die, but, but this has to that be took punished. a lot longer than it should. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna try and punish this right now. Sumail jumping onto FY, being able to get him. Brought down on the coddle into her. She has an observer wall to protect, but there's no sentry down on this observer. Uh, is she gonna die though? Do they have the damage? Somnus doesn't have the defusal just yet, and That's they do come in with the ultimate just before the attack came. Uh, Rick charge from Baboka, catching two heroes. Jackal shot prevents the nether strike. So they can't keep the chain disable going for long. Chalice also trying to show up. Throws in the primal roar. They just get the get the Baboka kill for free if they can. And he dies. Shamus so though again. might be in trouble because here is Sumail. But Sumail realizes that Lu is right there. And he doesn't want to deal with the Terror Blade. While this is happening, Tian Ming did go a little bit too far forward. Caught right in front of the defender's gates. That they can't follow. Storm is in. Oh. Yeah, Storm is in indeed. You're trying to bring down Lou, but the Shackle Shot catches him. Sumail survives with 80 HP. They're jumping back onto Lou. Lou is gonna die. Oh my goodness. Now we finally see Monet dishing out the damage as this Medusa. They gold in Somnus, control him completely. Do not allow him to escape and kill him off. Sumail manages to get brought down though by Chalice. The drive by. Sumail, good natured as he is, throws in the tip. He knows he got outplayed. <laughs> My goodness, though, the fight's not over, Lizard. They're still going for more. They get the Vendetta hit. I don't know do so. They want to take away her mana. Big Impale coming in as well. Yeah, but this is Sadly, disaster. though, they don't have the damage. They don't have the heroes here necessary. People are respawning on Asta. They're now collapsing back into their triangle. They bring down Tian Ming. Chalice should follow him into the grave as well. And Azure Ray, from bad to worse it goes, as they'll also end up losing their Beastmaster here. Lizard was going okay for them. What the hell happened in that fight? Well, it's still going on, man. It didn't happen. It's still happening. So just... <laughs> How far is Somnus from BKB? Uh, not building it yet. First going for Roche being taken. And they find Somnus all alone in this mid lane. He doesn't have defensive tools for himself. And he's not the one carrying the Aegis either. Yeah, that's one of the problems with this build, right? Charge in. Chalice. Chalice. He's a, a big very boy. far charge. Yeah, he's not an easy customer by any stretch of the imagination. Half the mana removed from Medusa. Global Silence will come out. Chalice trying to run away. Long zip from Sumail, though. Focusing first onto the Nyx Assassin, then coming back with the Beastmaster. Chalice, though, still freaking alive. Goes in with the Primal Roll. 
but it's not gonna help him stay oh, alive though. But Boca charge. getting the charge. Three heroes stunned up with one charge. And now Lou, he's in danger. Can he find a viable Sunder target? Even if he does, he knows that his life is forfeit on life number one or life number two. Life one is gone. He has enough gold to buy an ultimate orb, but okay, at least gets it. He buys it before he dies. Will get brought down. And Team Master. Now have a significant gold lead. They're taking the tier one tower bottom. Zure, they get caught. Boboka, always in the face. And always. He might die middle. Let's see. Will he die? No way. He actually gets kept alive. Somnus will dive him to kill him, but this might cost Somnus' life. Familiar drops on top of him. At the same time, though, thanks to some of this damage from Nyx Assassin, they bring down Sumail. Ray will be aware that a fight's coming. As the smoke will emerge now. Let's see. Beastmaster. Him and Nyx Assassin getting some D-Wards. Long charge onto Somnus. They want to try and find him, but they can't bring him down in time. Global Silence will be there. And it's gonna try and elapse. They haven't killed anybody off just yet. Nyx Assassin will be the first casualty. Beautiful Shackle Shot coming in from Somnus. Almost allowed them to kill Popoka. But the heals do come in. Yeah. They stay alive. He has the gem indeed. The Guardian Greaves from XXX did a bang up job there. Precision. XXX, speaking of him, he gets caught in with the Gleipnir. Not gonna be killed off just yet though. An Azure Array. Or will they lose the Nyx Assassin? Four on one side, four on the other. Alright, let's see. He's jumping in, but Boca don't want to target first. They don't miss it. They'll be able to get off the second Global Silence. They reach Somnus first and foremost, but Somnus is still alive in this engagement. He's going to be able to get the turnaround with Lou being there. They get the Stone Gaze out, but Medusa still hasn't killed anybody off just yet. They bring down the Beastmaster at long last. Somnus also in danger, but he skirts away towards the Roshan Pit and stays alive. So all that was taken there was just the life of the Chalice Beastmaster, but Somnus barely, barely survives. Nyx Assassin and Kotal yeah. in front. This is dangerous because there's a gem on the Spirit Breaker. He's going to charge forward right now. It gets interrupted by the Nyx. They're going to jump in right now. Nyx is going to die. Spirit Breaker potentially wanting more. But they should be happy with just getting two. Again, stealing the Aegis. They are smoked up and running in. Like this, this mm -hmm. three versus five. Yeah, it's three versus five, but they're all slumped in the pit. There's a Glyph near available. They go in. BKB for Lou. They really want the Roshan. Who gets it? Lou does snatch the Aegis. He takes it away. You said there's no shenanigans. The shenanigans do not stop. Sunder coming in to heal up the Terror Blade. Somnus though in trouble. Nether Strike pushes him back from Baboka. And he'll get brought down by the Soul Assumption. Lou now. He is the one that really needs some assistance. He needs some help. Stone Gaze already utilized. Chalice shows in on the north side of the fight here. Putting in damage onto the silencer, but it might not be enough to save Lou. Lou right now Monet. doesn't have meta available. He's going on to Monet. Monet though! Monet is dead! Monet just gets demolished! Oh my goodness! Was that These axes thunder? that kept flying in. Like 50% HP. They managed to kill off Somnus, but uh, they, they just had Speaking low of resources. Somnus. Yeah. Mid lane, Somnus are trying to get the get back onto Yusumail, and Sumail made the long jump to bring down Tian Ming. But as he does so, he finds Smoke up. They should know exactly where everyone is on Aster. That's one of one good thing about the smoke that uh, Team Azur just made. Mm. That being said, they don't have a blink tag on the next assassin, so it is a bit tough to start this fight. They're jumping onto Somnus right now through the global silence. He pops the cheese and stays alive. Next assassin, not so lucky as he dies off. And Somnus, he'll be next. What Still no BKB, hell? so he can't protect himself. So now they need to try and flee away from this fight as Azure Ray. Who can get themselves out? Charge going in onto Lou. BKB will be popped on the Terror Blade. Can he TP out? No, he cannot. There is still Medusa. ways to cancel this out. Medusa. Medusa, she's out of mana. She's out of life. These axes from Chalice, man. Another fight where we see Medusa not being careful enough with these. And she will end up dead. Somnus brought back to ensure that this fray goes successfully. They didn't need him necessarily, but maybe they can leverage his additional life to get more out of this fight. As they brought down two, Medusa does have buyback, though. It would be very nice if they can force her to use it. I mean, yeah, it was the axis, but it was also the TB with all those illusions just going ham. Okay, they need to be a little bit careful on the Medusa. You get a good two pickoffs and then you're out of position. Lu is just going in. Yeah, Lu's going in and Sumail went in to try and stop Somnus, but they caught him instead. Beautiful chain disables from the primal row and they get the kill onto our Storm Spirit. Does not have buyback? Medusa forced into buy as well. Here to defend the top side of the map. And they are feeling a little bit low on the HP in particular. So we have access to the Ignis. I feel like Somnus might take it 
Uh, well, been past that point for some time now. So Team Asta, don't you be creative think, about how they find a way in. Don't you think it's kind of on both sides though? Like you just have so much damage, anything can happen. It's all about the initiation. Oh my god, speaking of damage, look at this, you were just right. During the Global Silence, they chain disable Terror Blade and kill him off 100 to 0. Chalice suffers the same fate as they get the Nether Strike onto FY. He's not allowed to escape, because he's dead too. Oh wow, they claim some gem off the back of that as well. Okay! Fire can happen to Radiant as well. Mm. Almost have Global back online though. It's only 80 seconds at the max level on the cooldown. Do feel like it should be longer, but that's a discussion for another day, as right now, Azure Ray need to mount a defense of their base. Carl up in six seconds, oh, Chalice up in 15, and Somnus, he needs some way to get out of here. He does have a second life, though, as it does pop. Nyx Assassin does die on the right-hand side without buyback himself. You gotta get away but now, I feel like. Terra Blade about to respawn. Shackle Shot doesn't connect, but yeah, you're right. Just get out. It's at the end of the game, but his Medusa's buying Rapier. Monet's feeling very confident about this game right now. Just going for Rapio. Have a fight that's happening, Metal, though, as they jump in, looking for the Keeper of the Light. Coddle will end up getting brought down to defend this. Shackle will connect onto the Medusa, buying time. And we see Chalice starting to stack up some of these Wild Axes. And we can see what can happen when there's lots and lots of them in a solitary engagement. But the god they came for, they got the Lane of Rax. Azura will smoke up. They're coming in. They still have a hard time initiating, and Global Silence is back. Nyx is going to go all the way around, because I think he realizes that if we don't find the Silencer early, we do not have a fight. The question is, can they get there? Beautiful scan, Lizard. They know what's coming. It's a really good read from both sides, but the high ground advantage might be better for Aster here. They have the wards, they have the vision. Okay, they're diving in right now. They want to try and bring down FY, and FY will be brought down. Does not have buyback available. At the same time, Lou and them, they're going on to Somnus. Don't have the damage to kill him. Chalice through the primal run to XXX. But they're just like, okay, we'll eat it easily. And Lou and Somnus have to back away from this fight. So, Aegis is not available yet next. for another minute, so it'll be back. Next Assassin now getting caught out, getting killed off. And that is going to be a huge kill. There's actually something to play for here. Yeah, they're still waiting around the Twin Gate. They don't want to be caught in the pit like before. But uh, one nice thing for Azure is uh, they just have so many ways of scouting without using their heroes. You can scout mm. with the Hawks, you can scout with the Illusions, which is why that last fight was so surprising to me. Boboka gets hexed. Charge okay, there. Papoka, there will be a big jump in from Lou as he's activating his blink dagger. Goes in, huge blue hole from Sumail. The follow the up with the Medusa oh, damage. Oh, 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 oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, the oh, oh, poetry in motion, Lizard. Oh. Sumail throwing off this Aghanim Scepter in that fight, getting four heroes in that zip. That, that That's a game winning moment, honestly. Bring that back, we need to see that again. That's, yeah. Makes, yeah, you can try and do it. Yeah, this is. Uh, there's an Agonims, by the way, still. Follow up from XXS was also solid. Like, he manages to use his stun on multiple heroes during that pull from Sumail. So it was team effort. Sumail, obviously, uh, once again, in the spotlight, hero of the story, but uh, really nicely done by Aster. Do you remember, by the way, that this was first overall pick Storm Spirit? Yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, speaking of some spirit right now, has to deal with some right-click damage. Does have enough mana to zip away and still has an Aegis. So not worried about his own life. Ancient is exposed. Nether Strike back onto the Lu. Lu is in danger. Global Silence drops while he doesn't have BKB. There's his dieback. FY inside the base right now. Well, he's going to stay in the base for the rest of the game. Or well, actually, maybe not. They might send him into the another realm, another dimension. Somewhere that's not on the map of Dota as they get themselves the 2-0. GG, well played. Team Asta, man, looking super clean. All smiles for them as well, Lizard. They won and they expected to win, given how confident they look right now. Well, I didn't expect them to win. Like, really, uh, maybe the series, but not game two. Uh, both of these teams smiling, having fun, like, <laughs> they really enjoyed the game. It's such, such a nice sight to see. Mm. It is always fun to see. It's the best.